My name is Norman Chetkan. I'm an orthopedic spine surgeon at the Core Institute in Phoenix, Arizona. I did my medical school education at Howard University in Washington, D.C. Following medical school, I completed a residency in orthopedic surgery at Howard University and subsequently a fellowship in spine surgery at LSU in New Orleans. Well, I've always been interested in, in uh, medicine. My father was an orthopedic surgeon. At college, I had a decision whether to go into medical school or law school. Uh, medicine won out. During medical school, surgery was always a big interest. Initially, I was thinking of cardiothoracic surgery, maybe plastic reconstructive surgery, but orthopedics uh, kept pulling me back. It was something about it that I, I, I found very interesting and challenging. Uh, following residency, thinking about what type of orthopedics I wanted to do, I had a big interest in spinal deformity with uh, exposure to scoliosis surgery at Children's National Medical Center in Washington, D.C. And I, I found that spine surgery was a way to, to be able to do spinal deformity in kids and extend that in, throughout life and treat uh, adult patients with, with spinal deformity and other spinal conditions also. Yeah, so I treat patients uh, in all age groups. Uh, I've had a pretty extensive exposure to what we call pediatric spine surgery. Kids with uh, uh, neuromuscular uh, spinal deformities, typical scoliosis that you see, uh, all the way to um, infants with uh, congenital and uh, other spinal abnormalities. Uh, I also see patients at the other end of the spectrum, uh, older, uh, what we call geriatric spine fractures, and I have a pretty extensive exposure to uh, high energy spinal trauma at a level one spine center. Uh, when I first started my fellowship, as I, I got there, uh, there was a, a patient who had a severe spine, cervical spine uh, injury and was uh, paraplegic, actually quadriplegic, had very little use of her, her upper extremities either. And uh, I started my fellowship by taking care of her when she was in the hospital for quite some time. I remember a couple of years after she got out of the hospital and we'd been seeing her in clinic, I got a postcard from her and she was in a wheelchair at graduation from high school. It took a lot of strength and a lot of courage and a lot of determination for her to, to make it to that point from after the injury that she sustained. And I had that picture of her in her gown, in her wheelchair, going across the stage. It's pretty remarkable.